Hey Virgos, welcome back to my channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, please smash that like button and subscribe if you enjoy the reading. Do keep in mind this is a general reading and some messages may or may not be for you. Um, don't try to force it to fit. This is a channel for Virgos, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, but all signs are welcome. All right, Virgos, let's get into your reading. And any announcements or anything, is personal readings, basically anything you need is in the description box below. All right, let's get started. What's going on with you guys? Let's see, what is today? April 5th. So happy Passover to those of you who are celebrating. Okay, let's see what's going on here. All right, this is going to be a reading for April. Okay, somebody here is heartbroken, deeply hurt, sad, in separation, dealing with a breakup, feeling lost, grieving, and mourning. Okay. <clears throat> somebody is grieving a loss here. Let's see what else is going on. Virgo, is that you or is that another person? Could be both, could be one. All right, you've got coffee cup though. Meeting and conversing, savoring the moment, feeling uplifted and friendship. Okay, well, let's see. Somebody's working out their, their loss and their grief with a friend, meeting them for coffee, trying to have a conversation, a friend or a mentor or someone who is uh, giving a listening ear Okay, let's see. I do feel like I, it could be you, Virgo, but you know, I, I do get a sense there's somebody else here who is trying to work through a loss or breakup or separation. Right now, they're sitting with someone, having a cup of coffee <laughs> or tea, whichever, having a conversation. Um, and there's a friend or someone who is trying to make them feel uplifted. Uh, just trying to help them feel a little better. Somebody's seriously heartbroken, though. Okay, what else? Okay, yeah, somebody feels like they weren't enough. Frustrated in a relationship, lack of confidence, self-sabotage, fear, ego issues, jealousy. Somebody really feels like they didn't, they didn't measure up or they weren't enough for a relationship. And they're licking their wounds right now. Someone's licking their wounds. Um... All right, let's see what else is going on here, Virgo. It's always something, right? Um, not feeling good enough for another person. Okay, flirt, healing family issues. I feel like those cards keep coming out. Um, okay, reconciliation. Oh my goodness. Virgo, um... <laughs> You know, I know. I don't know what's going on. Maybe because like the energy we're being pulled and sucked into the vortex of Mercury retrograde. That's got to be it. Because <laughs> I don't even know what the heck is going on here. But um, someone's extent. <sighs> Virgo, come on. Um, listen, somebody wants to come back into your life and heal the relationship. This Is this like part three? What's going on here? Okay, or is this just like a continuation? Um, all right, let me get more into this and see what's going on here. Okay, what is going on here, Virgo? Somebody's really feeling a loss. Could be a Sagittarius. Trying to get their balance back. Bring in some peace and harmony. Okay. All right. Hello, King of Swords. Okay. Um... <laughs> I know you guys, seriously, he hasn't been here in a while. Queen of Swords was here, but I don't feel like that was really attached to you. King of Swords is here, all right? Uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, or somebody who just comes in with this very intentional, totally honest, you know, um, can we bring things back into balance here? Can we get back into a peaceful place? Uh, I don't know what that means. Was there fighting? Was there arguing? I don't know. Somebody is just really heartbroken and doesn't feel like worthy enough to be in your presence um oh virgo um hmm. give me a second here hmm. 
they're they're coming in with this like extreme self-control though you know they're not showing their not sh very poker faced kind of energy here um let me see male or female energy okay oh man i feel like somebody here is just really wishing and hoping that you guys can kind of like blend back together again uh or come back into union okay fine whatever you know they're showing up but they're not showing their feelings to you right here okay oh i just heard they also have a friend that's telling them you are good enough and if you want to be with virgo you need to do something about this like you can't just cry forever you need to take up your sword and go after virgo if you want virgo back okay now listen for those of you and i have to i don't know i have to say this but i'm gonna say it if you have been in a very toxic physically harmful relationship click off this reading right now okay if that's who this is for you this is not for you this you don't even need to be watching tarot card readings about a, a former person who um laid hands on you you need to be watching tarot card readings about your strength your growth and your healing okay um yeah i just have to say that because i'm not trying to like influence anyone to go back into that kind of a, a situation or a relationship and if you're listening to this and that's who you're listening for and this person's trying to come back in um like it's a no you need to click off yeah okay um okay virgo listen i don't know why i just got that but i'm gonna just give this message somebody really wants to um how can i say this without being crass <laughs> i want to keep it pg but they really want to explode all over you <laughs> or you over them okay <laughs> i just i can't you know what sometimes the readings just go like that um there is somebody here who i feel like probably uh, was flirting with other people in like some kind of a past thing they might have even been physically intimate with other people and um there there could be something there with this person um i, I just feel like there something must have happened there was a breakup or something and they're really kicking themselves now okay um and i feel i know it's strange but it just feels like they just want to spill the juice with you and nobody else okay your wish come true for this person all right virgo okay now we have the queen of cups yeah um i mean virgo i just feel like this person you and they are night and day okay and i really just get a sense that that you know you're not opening up your heart you're kind of keeping a lid on things like you're keeping your emotions to yourself you and this other person okay let me see what else is going on here tell me more about this king of swords has the nine of swords um i feel like these are the same readings and honestly like i'm getting so tired of telling these readings okay these same stories like there's so much back and forth energy with this person um I'm just here okay so they're giving me a weird old song leanne rhymes can't can't fight the moonlight <laughs> and i'm not even into country but that song i don't know why somebody like i'm hearing it in my head um i don't know something to do with the moon or the moonlight and magic moon magic what's going on here is this person into moon magic or something or you are um did you cast a spell on somebody virgo and are you drawing them back in uh secretly <laughs> or maybe they think that that's what you've done that's crazy okay so yeah i've got the ace of cups here there's definitely um a new start happening here coming in with this from this person this king of swords um to the queen of cups and the queen of cups is real focused on her heavenly father oh yes the queen of cups is like i'm sorry but you do not compare to my god <laughs> you do not compare to the almighty right um virgo i don't know if you're getting that energy going with jesus or you know whomever or god in general like whatever you're doing 
Um, I just feel like you're kind of looking at this person and you're like, yeah, okay, they're human, they're imperfect, but like, are they walking in the light? Are they able to walk in the light with me? This person is trying to put on some moon magic. Um, I feel like they, I don't know. I, I, this is really, this person is so mixed up. And I, and the way I, the reason I know that is because I feel mixed up. Like I feel their energy. They are so confused. But with you, I feel peace. You know, I just feel like this energy of peace with you. Like you, you're kind of like, I'm looking for someone who's like my heavenly father. Like I'm looking for someone who's, you know, going to be stand up and above board and honest and truthful, you know, or my heavenly mother, whatever you want to say. I'm looking for someone who's going to walk in that light. <coughs> Excuse me. You see how I can't even talk? <clears throat> this is crazy. Yeah, it just feels like a crazy energy here between you and this person. Um, you're drawing them in. <sighs> and it feels mostly like because you are only giving your love to spirit. You know, um, you are only trusting in source. That's it. That's like, that's where your eyes and your focus is at this time. Okay. And this person, like, I feel like actually not this person. I feel like your source of light, your higher power, the spirit within you is like protecting you and giving, like cutting away, cutting people out of your life that are just not in alignment with what your your desires are you know but this other person is kind of like really struggling with this they gotta i feel like they know that they gotta like really step it up to meet you at your level because you've raised your vibrations you know um i don't know there's something going on here with the moon maybe because the full moon is going to be tomorrow well thursday the sixth so there's definitely some magic happening during that full moon and we'll take a look at that tomorrow on on the full moon day but on april 6th but there's definitely some magic here and there's a, a pull the start with the moon pulling very heavily into the mercury retrograde um and in my last few readings you know there was an energy of hearing from someone around this weekend coming up so um Virgo, I feel like you're kind of like in this place right now where you're just pushing back and uh, really just trying to um, push, keep boundaries up so and kind of stay in like hermit mode in a lot of ways so you can focus and surrender. Like, look at how you have the star there. Like, you are really getting into spiritual reflection um, during this week. And I know for some Christians, this is Holy Week as well. Um, but I just feel like you guys are seriously, um, like you're moving into greatness. And I know that you're like, really? Okay. <laughs> but yeah, you are. Uh, you definitely are. Especially, I don't know what it, what, all right, tell me, what has Virgo done? And then I want to know more about like what happened in the past as well with this situation. Because you also have an opportunity for new love coming as well with someone who's like, I feel like it feels like someone who comes in in that emperor energy, you know, like very protective, um, a good planner, uh, a parent, maybe it's just someone could be a grandfather, maybe they're a grandfather or grandmother, but it's just someone who's like, I feel like God's bringing a blessing to you. That's what I feel overall. And I feel like this other person is still kind of behind and they're grieving right now and they're just trying to feel better. And I feel like if there was physical intimacy with this person, they can't stop thinking about that. They want to come back. They want to try to heal things. But I don't know, Virgo, you seem to be all like, you know, I'm leaving it to God, whatever, whatever higher power has for me. I'm asking higher power to bring that to me in divine timing. Okay, so truth and justice. This is what this is like, what's going on here. There's karma happening here. Show me what happened with this person. Oh, okay. There you go. 
yeah, there was some kind of breakup or argument or split. Maybe there was a third party or there was flirtations or communications with like a third party. And um, I don't know, Virgo, it looks to me like you, you must have broke up with this person or they ended it with you and, and then you just were forced to not go back. Uh, yeah, they might have been breadcrumbing you something along those lines also um, given to you given to others Virgo it looks like you're like I don't know are you done is are you done Virgo are you completely done all right that didn't flip fully so let's see is Virgo done yeah Virgo's at the end of their rope finished that's a 10 right there that's the finale that ten of wands, like, it's not even, like, about, like, fully being done. It's just, like, man, this is too much of a burden. Too stressful. Too much exhaustion. Virgo is burned out and is, you know, replenishing themselves with source light, higher power, whatever it is going on right now. So they can be in victory mode. Taking action to move forward. To get back up on that horse again for a lot of you. Okay. That's what I feel like is going on. This person back here, I mean, they still show up. They're showing up as this king of swords. Like, they're still kind of cold. They're still cold. Tell me more about this king of swords. Virgo, it looks like you are not, you're not trying to go back. The, the, although this person wants reconciliation. I mean, it, it kind of feels to me, Virgo, that you're like, listen, if this person's going to come back, they're going to have to break all of their rules. Because I am not breaking any more of my rules. I broke all of them and it left me for dead. Um, Virgo, I feel like your energy is like, you know, <laughs> bloody stumping it. You got to come back and you got to have broken all your stupid ego rules <clears throat> and show me. Yeah. And that's, and I feel like that's still kind of a message going forward that you're, you're just like, I would rather start over with someone new. Yeah. That funny. Yep. Oh. We don't want an achy. Yeah, I would rather, you guys know it's a world card. I would rather start over with someone new, leave the past in the past and have a new chapter and just start all over because I'm not waiting, you know, uh, Virgo, you're basically like, yeah, well, you can like, you're shaking your ass out the door there. Have a, have a, one final look at you. One final look. Watch me walk. Yeah. Virgo, you're just kind of like, <laughs> lesson learned for a lot of you. Okay, show Virgo what's going on. What is this? What is the deal with this person? I mean, they're grieving. They're heartbroken. Um, it's not even about love for you, Virgo. It's really just about like behavior or their personality, the way they treated you, or the way the relationship just didn't work out. And they're they're seeking solace in the bottom of, of a bottle or a coffee cup. Okay, and they're trying to figure out how they can come back to you. That's what they're doing. There you go. I was just asking. Trying to make some plans. Two of Wands there. Waiting for something. Waiting for you to make a decision either to go back to them or what have you. Okay. Yeah. It's like a little bit of strategy there with the Two of Wands. What else is this person doing? Okay. Learning lessons. That's for sure. Definitely learn some lessons here. Hmm. Um, okay, Nine of Pentacles. So, I mean, this person's single as a Pringle. They, they're not with anybody. They're with that friend trying to see if that friend can give them some advice or figure out what to do or how to handle their grief or their, the loss. And they're also looking at you like, <sighs> looking good. You're looking good, Virgo. You're getting them high-end lashes. You're buying those nice uh, clothes. You're getting a new car. Getting yourself in shape. Um, getting money in the bank. Um, you know, raising your vibration. Maybe dating other people or talking to somebody else. Look, <laughs> Virgo. Kick out your can. Here comes the garbage man. Your girl. <laughs> Okay, yeah, this person's, they're, they're coming in. Oh, yeah, they're coming in to make this love offer. For sure, they want to offer their cup. <laughs> All right, Virgo, I feel like for you, um, I don't feel like you're going back. I feel like you're, you're like, you've reached the end of your rope, or at least you will in April. 
It's done for you. That burden, too much of a burden to carry for you. You've carried it all. You've carried the whole enchilada. <laughs> and, you know, you're just, that's it. Too exhausting. You're done. You've, you've been doing all the work. You're, now they get to do all the work. And you're not given any kind of yes or no. I feel like if this person tries to come back in and make an offer, you might just be like, well, I mean, like if they say, hi, how you doing? You're just like, hey, I'm great. Um, have a good day. And if they try to like reconcile with you, you're just kind of like, well, you know, uh, here, here's a couple of breadcrumbs. Like, it's not that you're trying to be mean or play games or anything. I just, I just feel like Virgo for you, you're not overly investing, right? You've got um, maybe some other suitors. <laughs> I don't see you going back in the way you went before. If you were to, if you were to, that's it, this to me. It feels like that's as far as you're going to go. I'll drop a couple of dimes in your, your coin slot, but then I've got to go, you know, and that is symbolic of you just maybe responding to a phone call or a text or not responding right away. Like, yeah, I mean, you're, you'll be fair, but fair game. All's fair in love with love and war. And it looks to me like Virgo with this world card, you're just like, eh, sorry, I'm out of here later. You had your chance. Bye. <laughs> I was like, mm -mm. I'm done with that. Um, okay. <laughs> messages of love. We want some messages of love. Here we go. Let us see what is going on here. I mean, Virgo, listen, like I always say, you guys follow me in my readings, right? If you want to take somebody back, you do what you need to do for yourself. I'm not telling you what to do. I'm just telling you what I see here. If you want me to tell you what to do, <laughs> well, I can't because I don't know your exact situation. Um, okay, this person is secretly longing and yearning for you. Oh, yeah. Booyah. Oh, my gosh. Are you kidding? Hold on. I can't pick it up. I seriously need to do something about I need like a little scraper or something okay they want a second chance yes now listen this is for those of you where there was already a chance and now you're going on your second if this is like your fifth like you shouldn't even be you should have clicked off this video a while ago if, if you're on like chance number three anything after a second chance is intentional by way of needing to have more than two chances, you know. I mean, this isn't baseball. You know, baseball is three strikes, you're out. If you want to live by the three, three strikes, you're out rule, live by your own rule. I personally think if somebody messes up and then you give them another chance and then they mess it up again, either one, you weren't reading between the lines and this person just wasn't ready and you didn't see that, or they didn't tell you, and you kept hanging on trying to make somebody change, or they were really screwing up, and you keep letting them come back. If you keep doing that, all you're really giving the message is you're a doormat, and you can walk all over me. So it, when you're done, be done. Pick a lane and stay in that lane once you make that decision. It looks like you're done. But for those of you, um, I will say that somebody is coming in here for a second chance yes if you're on your third fourth fifth sixth i mean that that's it's just dead in the water that's control now at that point okay let's see what else all right time to decide about the relationship so for some of you yeah i mean listen some of you already decided you're like nope 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 i'll take my chances with somebody else um i'll, I'll get a second chance at love with someone else decision it's time to decide about this relationship so this person like i said they are the two of wands so they're definitely like making a decision maybe their time is now for whatever reason maybe they grew up or maybe they're just like okay i'm ready but you know it's like it could be a timing thing for some of you some of you might have been ready and they weren't ready and now they're ready and you're out the door. So it's kind of like, ugh, that's not a twin flame thing. That's just like a bad timing kind of thing. I do feel like though this person is coming to terms with like they're ready. But you know, again, like I said, it's up to you, Virgo. You do what you want to do. You do what feels best for you because you're all listening and you're all, it's not like one size fits all. You're all in different situations. Okay. 
So try something you've never done before, passion. So for some of you, that's why I was saying this person needs to break all their own rules. Some of you kind of like looking at the whole situation it might be saying that like if you're going to come back you got to like bust through all of those rigid expectations and rules and everything that's keeping your ego up on high um and passion might be one of them somebody might not have just been passionate enough about you or the relationship um that might be something that you need to see from them it could be something that they come in with something that they've never shown you before Okay, but you'll know when you know, right? When you see it and it's going consistently for a long, like a pattern starts to develop where there's change, pattern of change, then make your decision. <clears throat> okay, you've done the work, abundance flows to you now. So I feel like this person is, they're really like talking, they, either they are talking to someone or they were talking to someone or they will be. That's kind of like giving them comfort, male or female, either one and it's kind of like talking them down from the ledge because this person is on a ledge talking them down from the ledge over you and helping them to gain clarity about a situation or a split or something along those lines and truly working on their abundance okay um, which means like being a person who's fulfilled because the card you are not the card that said not enough, this person, I feel like there's somebody here who did not feel like they were enough or even deserving like of a relationship, right? Um, so that just to me is a message of like someone who self-sabotages, they, um, they lack confidence. They can't be in a relationship with anyone because they don't love themselves. And if you don't, it's not even, so love is acceptance. So it's really just about to be in a relationship with another person, to share that love, not only do we want acceptance from the other person, but we also have to give ourselves acceptance. We also have to like accept where, who we are. And I feel like this person probably didn't really believe in themselves or accept themselves or love themselves enough and they sought validation to make them, and they might even try to force it to make them feel better about who they are like really heavily relying on other people's opinions or views about them in the heart um it's crazy it is it's crazy it because i feel like all week these messages have been the same way um and you know obviously somebody needs to hear it all right someone crossed the line with you here virgo they did they crossed the line um, I don't know what line that is, but um, I want to be more than friends. Wow. That's interesting. Were you friends with this person, Virgo? And then it kind of turned into a relationship and then something happened and then the friendship wound up getting destroyed. couldn't let you get close to me yeah i mean that's definitely a theme for this person coming in as the king of swords for sure and i feel you even though we are apart yeah this person like i said they're on the ledge i don't i'm gonna caption this they're being talked down from the ledge probably won't make any sense to anyone in the caption but on the ledge over you is what's going on on the ledge on the edge yeah, the timing wasn't right. So it feels like mostly, I don't feel like there's a lack of love or anything like that um, for whoever specifically this message is for. I feel like you guys were just in, I don't know, different time zones or just the time wasn't right for you two to be together. Okay. And, you know, somebody might have called quits on a relationship because of a lot of times gone by or just nothing was moving forward. Okay. And it, just two people in who came together that it wasn't the right time for them, okay? Um, and I kind of get a sense like, that's what this is all about. I really feel like that's what this is all about. And this person doesn't want to lose you. Um, so if you walked away, Virgo, or if there was a split because somebody wasn't ready, maybe you weren't ready, whatever the case may, might be, it looks like this person is ready. And they're coming in ready. So what you choose to do with that, like I always said, I mean, you're really just trying to get right with spirit. That's what I feel like you're doing here with yourself. And that's what you need to do if you've lost that connection. 
that spiritual connection because that hermit that's you virgo and that hermit goes basically within for clarity um it's a quest for personal truth and spiritual illumination so i kind of feel like that's your energy that's what's going on with you right now and that's great and i feel like that's your safe spot your safe place and that's where you need to be i don't know why but i feel like you need that okay there's an emotional wish being granted and manifestation so you're manifesting somehow some way you might not even know it um an, an emotional wish to yourself that will be granted something that you want that will affect the heart and give you emotional um satisfaction um whatever it is specifically you're meant trying to manifest this in april and you get that wish that wish comes true for you in april that thing that you want that person that whatever it is um you also have strength here so this is like confidence courage this is you being a winner uh, for sure but not like in an egotistical cool way it's it's more like being happy with the outcome of i see you being happy with an outcome that comes to you in april okay let me see yeah there's somebody here who's in regret they're spying on you um yeah there was a very toxic situation as well that might have happened um and some of you might have let go of this relationship because it became toxic or something happened between you know it's a time of deep struggle that you went through and i feel like this person regrets that they were that way with you okay that i don't know what happened maybe they just you know like i said it's a timing thing but if you were pushing and pulling and trying to force the situation um and this person was being toxic by running away so you might have had a runner chase or energy um that would create a dynamic of toxicity on both sides okay because you were going out of your you were doing things you wouldn't normally do and this person was doing things they wouldn't normally do but there is a sense here i feel like from this person for sure that they are in deep regret and they're looking to see oh my ears ringing <clears throat> they're looking to see if um what's going on if you're with someone else or uh, yeah you're with your higher power <laughs> Fergus like i don't need anybody i got god god's keeping me company every night <laughs> you know so you you got some of this energy going on here and it's good it's positive but i feel like this person is keeping their eye like they're watching you i don't know why they're putting themselves in pain um uh, maybe because they don't want to approach if you have someone else you know um so they might be looking to see and also to looking to see if you've healed right because i think they're on that journey and you're on that journey so somehow they're trying to get a glimpse to see if there's change with you um and also you know change within themselves or if you're open to receiving them i don't know virgo I, it doesn't look like in this reading that you are but you could change that of course if you want to if you don't want to yeah keep it moving um all right let's get your chinese signs and then some names and numbers some randoms okay this could be you this could be the other person oh i guess i should probably shuffle these cards what do you think give me a sec you guys let me um here i just want to shuffle them real quick yeah so this could be you this could be the other person this could be both of you none of you it doesn't mean it's not your story so take it with a grain of salt um for those of you that resonate with the chinese signs it's definitely for you okay so we've got year of the rat year of the rabbit okay i think we gave it a good shuffle here year of the rooster year of the monkey year of the monkey year of the dog year of the pig year of the dragon we get the dog again and year of the goat okay so it's either you, you know i already said it. i'm not gonna say it again okay let's get into your random messages try not to let the nudie show here okay let's see if we can get initials names and random messages for virgo virgo sun moon rising or venus what do you want to tell virgo 
Okay, we got an August birthday. Somebody's initial starts with a C. Um, somebody's getting extensions in their hair. I keep seeing that. Okay, we've got someone who is 25 years of age. <clears throat> okay. Okay, I just heard, hold on. All right, they just gave me a name. <laughs> and this is a weird name, but, it, well, it's not a weird name, but it's weird that it's coming out like this. I'm hearing an be so crazy i wish the comments were open so i could know if this is your person like if you say oh that's my person kenneth king so it's either both of those names together or separately i'm hearing kenneth king okay And I'm also picking up someone uses a Keurig. Don't knock the Keurig. I use a Keurig. I love it. Okay. Letter H. We have HQ headquarters. But H and a Q. Oh, they're just giving me a strong Pisces vibe here. And also, um, blue butterflies, blue, blue butterflies. Maybe you'll see one or you've seen one. Someone's 46. Okay. And some of these initials are CG. Somebody calls someone CG or C and a G. Okay. And, uh, somebody's mixing something, mixing a drink, mixing a bowl of, I don't know, cake mix maybe, mixing something up. And I see somebody wearing blindfold. <laughs> maybe pin the tail on the donkey this weekend or something. Or blindfold egg hunt, perhaps. Okay. And okay. They're giving me the name Jack, Jackson, Jackie, Jacqueline. Okay, and um, someone's born 1968. I'm also picking that up here, or there, or there, someone is 68 years of age. So they're not. It's not very specific here. Okay, let's get your numbers. All right, you guys. So Aries, this is Aries' birthday month. Maybe someone's with dealing with an Aries whose birthday is this weekend. Um, okay, Gemini, of course, Libra, Sagittarius, and I was calling those signs out, so that's kind of crazy, except for the Aries. Okay, um, so, okay, so here's the numbers they're giving me. All right, we have 310. Six one one eight zero one zero and nine three nine. Okay, um, I don't know how that's going to resonate for you. Three one zero six one one eight zero one zero and nine three nine. Okay, also. September, August, September birthdays please. Okay, August 30th. Um, September, okay, 3rd, 4th, 9th, 12th, 7th. Okay, someone is 50. Someone is 30. Uh, someone's born in 79. Also, 74 um someone's born in uh 97 okay and one more shuffle okay we have august 26th 
27th, 24th, and 28th. And um, September 15th, September 19th. Okay. And someone's born in 1972. We also have um, 66. And all right, so they're giving me 2011 significant year for somebody. Yeah, I keep getting all these notifications in my ear. I've been wearing these Beats headphones and like the, the earbuds, they never stay in my ear. I, I don't know, maybe I have them in backwards. All right, let me just get your signs once more and then I'm going to get a charm. Okay, Taurus, Leo, Sagittarius, double Sag. Okay, one more. Virgo, Leo, Pisces, and Capricorn. Okay, so that could be, you know, who you're dealing with. Or it could be your rising. All right, let me see your charm. Tomorrow, come back for the weekend reading. We'll see what the energies are. Actually, you know what? Today I was gonna, I was supposed to do, and I'm, I, I forgot, and I meant to do it today, and I'm just realizing that I forgot. But I want to do Wednesdays where it's just a general reading, like I did last week, and I just forgot this time. Um, maybe there was a reason for that. So I'm gonna try to do Sunday singles, Monday and Tuesday love, Wednesday a general reading where we cover health, career, all that stuff, and if love shows up, it shows up, and then Thursday your weekend reading, okay? So, this is weird. You have a dolphin, and you also have a rhinoceros. <laughs> a rhino. <laughs> I think that's a political term right now. Um, so, I don't know if there's a message there for someone politically. I'm not getting into that. But there's definitely a rhinoceros. And I think also there was something going on where, like, the last rhinoc rhinoceros, in uh, they're extinct. Did I read that somewhere? I don't know if I, I saw it. I've read that, like the very last rhinoceros um, on the planet is is now passed. So there's like no more. I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong. I could be wrong, but you might see that somewhere, or or maybe you've seen that somewhere. Um, you know, rhinoceros are very aged. Some of you might be feeling like as old as a rhinoceros. I, I don't know. I, I just kind of feel like um, you're tired. Are you tired? Are you getting enough sleep, Virgo? You might not be getting enough sleep. I feel like you need to rest. You're very strong. Most Virgos, Virgos are either one of two things. They're either extremely slender and they have long fingernails or long nails, um, or they're, um, kind of stocky and, and, and strong and like built like a brick shit house. you know, <clears throat> excuse me. <coughs> it's one or the other. So either that's you or your person, um, but I, I don't know. There's something here with like a rhinoceros. I don't think I've ever seen this, and I, I will say that I do feel like it is it is something political too. Um, maybe you hear the term or you have a conversation about that over the weekend. I hope not on Easter weekend. You also have a dolphin, so this is great. You know, we're getting mammals here. What the heck? And we're getting these really old mammals. Maybe you and your person are like old as dirt. I don't know. But this is like a, this is like angel protection. These these animals, mammals are so um, they're brilliant. They have like human brains. They're so smart and loving. Um, so there's something here to do with a dolphin, and it could be about you and your personality, um, as long as well with your physique. But there's also something here. Maybe you are a lover of dolphins, or you think that they're just you could like it could be a favorite, or you see them over the weekend, or you do something where you see some dolphins, or maybe you've recently just seen them. Whatever it is, they're they're significant. And you're going to get some messages about them this weekend. Um, something along the lines of what I was talking about, like protection and strength as well. So yeah, I'm going to leave that reading there for you. Hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget, if you want to book a personal reading, go down the description box below. You can book with Casey. And I am going to be bringing somebody on who um, possibly will be doing text only readings. Very inexpensive. So um, I'll let you guys know about that next week. If you just want to get a quick reading from her, um, I think you just just pay for it, you book it, and then I have to figure it out. But she just does text only. So if you have some questions, you can, you'll be able to just text and get some things answered. And the 
benefit of that is you'll be able to hold on in the text messages to the reading so you can go back and refer to it so i'll let you guys know when that starts up okay and uh yeah so i will see you all back here for your full moon and weekend reading hope you guys have a great night a wonderful wonderful thursday and i'll talk to you soon all right love you Bye.